Hello everyone, welcome you all once again to my channel Spicy and Saucy. This week we have brought to you one pot chicken biryani in 35 minutes. What? Just 35 minutes? Yes, of course, in just 35 minutes with the same traditional authenticity and flavors intact. So what's the delay then? Hang on tight to witness this in next few minutes. I am preparing this biryani with 3 cups of long grain basmati rice. So for 3 cups of rice, I am taking exactly 4.5 cups of water into our Insta pot. To this pot, let's add all the biryani spices like 2 star anise, 6 cloves, 5 cardamom or elaichi, 3 to 4 bay leaves, crushed javetri and just 2 teaspoons of shajira. To this now add 1 tablespoon of ghee and salt according to your taste. After that add our pieces of whole chicken and give it a nice mix. Now pressure cook on high for 3 minutes and place the wall towards steaming position. Now that the Insta pot has turned off, carefully release the pressure by turning the valve to venting position. You can now see how gloriously the chicken has cooked. Take just the chicken outside of the Insta pot and in the same water we will cook a basmati rice. This basmati rice is pre-soaked for 30 minutes. The reason for me to cook the basmati rice in same water as that of chicken is because we have all these oils and fats from the chicken and all the biryani spices which will even more enhance the flavor of our rice. Place a regular panlet and select rice mode from the options. Do not wait for the entire 12 minutes or for the insta pot to be turned off but intermittently just check whether the rice is 90% done and the water is drained off. Seems like our rice is done and now let's take everything into a bowl. Now select saute mode with the low settings and add 3 tablespoons of oil and 2 tablespoons of ghee to our pot. To this add 1 tablespoon of crushed green chilies and a small bowl of sliced onion and give it a nice mix. After the onions are cooked, I am adding 2 heaped tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. After the raw flavor of the ginger and garlic is gone, I am adding 2 tablespoons of finely chopped mint and give it a nice stir. Now I am adding 2 heaped spoons of coconut and poppy seeds paste. For this I have taken 2 tablespoons of poppy seeds and one half of a small coconut and made a fine paste out of it. After the raw flavor of the paste is gone, I am adding 2 teaspoons of coriander powder, 1.5 teaspoons of red chilli powder and some salt according to our taste and mix it all thoroughly. I am now adding 2 teaspoons of cardamom powder, 2 teaspoons of garam masala powder and 2 teaspoons of biryani masala powder. I have used shan biryani powder over here and gave it a nice mix. Now I am adding 1 cup of curd. Adding curd is extremely important for us to get this nice gravy for the chicken to cook in. Now I am adding our boiled chicken to this and stirring so that the pieces are nicely covered with the masala. At this step I am adding just a little bit of water, maybe half a cup of water and placing the lid. Make sure we have good amount of gravy so when we pressure cook it doesn't get burnt. After 3 minutes or so I am adding some fried onion and 2 teaspoons of lime juice. After that I am sprinkling few drops of kevda water and mixing them all together. Now to this I am adding cilantro and started spreading the rice. After spreading half of my rice, I have added saffron induced milk and on top of that I have added fried onions and some cilantro and mint. I have also sprinkled few drops of kevda water. Now I am gonna add the rest of the rice and on top of it I will add fried onions and 2-3 to three teaspoons of lime juice. Now I'm adding 2 teaspoons of saffron induced milk and sprinkling 2 teaspoons of cardamom powder. After that I'm gonna add few drops of kevda water and finally some cilantro and mint. 
I sprinkle some water on top so that it's all moist and close the lid. Now I'm pressure cooking a normal setting for 3 minutes and placing the valve towards a steaming position. Do not open the lid as soon as the insta pot is turned off. Allow it to rest for 10 minutes. And yes, now it's time for us to open the lid. Wow, that smell. It's nothing but just awesomeness. Wow, it turned out really, really well. If you have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed while making it, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And for all the notifications, do not forget to hit the bell icon. See you in another video with another yummy dish. Until then, bye-bye.